Hello and welcome dear students, professionals and learners and welcome to the informative topic on batch sizes, number of batches for stability testing, exhibit batches and batches for process validation. So this video will discuss about the batch size required for formal stability testing for exhibit batches and for process validation then this video will discuss about the minimum batch size and number of batches requirement and also will discuss about when we can reduce the batch size than the standard requirements so the exhibit batches are also called as pivotal clinical batches or clinical trial batches or primary stability studies batches these are also known as exhibit batches and pilot batches for formal stability testing so why these batches are taken and why these batches are required these are required to support safety and efficacy, bioavailability, and bioequivalence. So, generally, to support safety, efficacy, and bioavailability for the innovator products and for supporting bioequivalence for the generic products. These batches also required for stability data generation, process qualification, process validation and to show the process robustness for the product the purpose of pilot batches these are also called as pilot batches which are the formal stability batches these are required to generate the stability data and the stability data include formal stability studies data in use stability data photo stability studies polymorphic stability that may be polymorphic form retention or conversion whole time stability study data so all these type of stability studies are done on the pilot batches then these are required to establish shelf life or expiry period of the product under development these are also required to establish the Level storage instructions to identify the criticality of the manufacturing process then also to validate the manufacturing process and to show the reproducibility of manufacturing process for commercial scale then to provide the data for bioequivalence of the generic product generally out of these pilot batches the batch is selected for the bioequivalence study and based on the data the bioequivalence is supported for the generic product then pilot batch size what is pilot batch the pilot batch is nothing but a batch batch with batch size of 10% of the proposed maximum size commercial batch if you are proposing 10 lakh tablet batch size for your commercial batch then the 10 percent of the proposed batch size will be 1 lakh so your pilot batch size will be 1 lakh tablets if the commercial batch size is 10 lakhs tablets then small batch size as per the us guidelines one small batch size and two pilot batch size batches can suffice the requirement so this small batch size will have a batch size of 25 percent of the proposed maximum size commercial batch that is pilot scale batch see here the one lakh tablet may be your commercial batch also if you don't have a commercial batch size more than one lakh or it the batch size small batch size may be 25% of the pilot batch that is 
25,000 tablets if the pilot batch size is 1 lakh tablets. Then commercial batch size. What is commercial batch size? The batch size of commercial batch for marketing after approval of the product for release into the market. This is the commercial batch size. At which batch size the manufacturer is manufacturing a single batch quantity. That is the commercial batch size. Now you should also understand here that what is batch. The batch is the amount or number of the units which are processed in a single run or in a unit operation. That is the definition of batch. Now number of batches. What is the requirement of number of batches? So we all know the minimum three batches are required. Out of these three batches, two of the three batches should be at least 10% of the proposed production batch or 1 lakh finished doses units, whichever is greater. That is known as pilot scale batches. If your commercial scale is 1 lakh units and you are making a pilot scale also for 1 lakh units, then there will be no difference in these two batches. But if the commercial batch will be 10 lakhs, then 10% will be 1 lakh. If the commercial production batch will be 5 lakhs, then 10% of it will be 50,000 tablets. But you cannot produce the 50,000 tablet as there is a requirement of there is a requirement that the 10% of the proposed production batch are 1 lakh units. So if your production batch scale is 5, 5 lakh tablets, that time also you have to produce 1 lakh units. So this will be the basis for the scale up factor of 10 times. Generally, the scale up factor of 10 times will be considered for solid oral formulation. Then two batches, two out of the three batches will be of at least 10% of the proposed production batch or 1 lakh units, whichever is greater. Now the third batch can be smaller than 10% of the proposed production batch, but it should not be less than 25% of the pilot scale batch. Now if your pilot scale batch is 1 lakh units and you can make a smaller batch with 25% that is 25,000 units. Then stability data is required to be generated on three batches in the proposed marketing pack. Whatever the marketing pack is getting proposed for the commercial scale, in that pack the stability data is required to be generated. Then why these three batches are required? See, for the understanding this requirement of minimum three batches, we have to understand some basics like validation. Validation means the establishing uh, evidence that the process consistently produce the product with required quality attributes. So, in the validation batches, generally three batches are required because Minimum three batches requirement is there also for the stability studies. Here you should consider that that is a minimum requirement. You can produce more than the three batches. But generally the minimum quantity, minimum number of batches is three. So it is generally understood that why three batches are required that first batch may be made good by accident. So, quality by accident uh, may happen in the first batch. Then you make a second batch and it also meets the quality. So, it may meet the quality by regular quality or quality by accident also. But you make the third batch and it meets the quality. That means your process is robust. 
and it consistently meet the quality so in third batch the quality is assured and the process is robust and is a validated process to meet the required quality then to support the statistical data minimum 3 batches are required 3 consecutive batches is the terminology as the statistical evaluation is not possible with less than 3 batches that's why the minimum 3 batches are required if the two batches are selected for validation then we cannot compare the data of two batches because comparison between two points always give a linear line that means you cannot measure the variation in between the batches also to show the difference we need three points that means we can show the differences variations and similarities if we have three batches also we can show the reproducibility and we can assure the quality by making the three batches that's why the three batches are required see here you made a one batch then you have taken second batch and all are meeting uh, all these two batches are meeting so there is a straight line between these two these straight line may be drawn from any point so here you cannot show the variation but as soon as you make the third batch you can measure the variation and you can show the similarities that's why three batches are required then batch size for exhibit batches that is pilot scale batches the batch size is based on the below points if you want to select the batch size how you will select so first is regulatory requirements then the equipment capacities which are much required at manufacturing location as per the equipment capacities and occupancies we have to calculate the batch size minimum and minimum and maximum possible then number of units required for the stability studies process yield and sampling requirements these are considered then market requirements that is the product volume then commercial batch size requirements if if you have a manufacturing area at the commercial site so the best possible utilization of that area is also to be considered and any other points like cost of the apis cost of the packaging material cost of the excipients then the regulatory filing strategy what is the strategy of the regulatory filing that is also considered then risk involved what are the risk involved into the product the risk may be of cost filing strategy risk of failure or risk of meeting the timelines for filing these are also have to be considered then regulatory requirements of oral solid formulations are 1 lakh units and some of the guidelines says that 1 lakh packed units are required so always the batch sizes are made above 1 lakh that may be 1.2 lakhs 1.5 lakhs and so on batch sizes other than regulatory recommendations so now if a manufacturer wants to manufacture the batch with smaller than 1 lakh units so can it be manufactured and filed can that product is uh, can that uh, formulation or product filed to the regulatory authorities so yes it can be filed and some justifications are required these justifications are given into the some of the guidelines from usfda if the reference listed drug product has an orphan drug designation then you can manufacture the smaller batch size see for the uh, more, uh, orphan drugs the market requirement will be less compared to the other high volume general products due to the limited number of disease uh, number of patients and the disease prevalence in the, into the population that's why the requirement of the 
population will be less and that's how you can justify the smaller batch size than 1 lakh units then if the drug drug substance is controlled drug substance and is based on the drug enforcement drug en enforcement administration allocation so based on this drug substance and the product or drug designation you can take the batch sizes smaller than the regular batch sizes or standard batch sizes and third if the commercial batch size is to be kept same as per the pilot batch size and you say that there will not be a scale up so if you manufacture 1.5 lakhs batch size in uh, pivotal batches or formal stability batches or exhibit batches and you propose that the same batch size will be for commercial batch manufacturing that time you can manufacture the smaller batch size also like 50000 in some of the anti cancer products the batch sizes are less than the 1 lakh units so that time this justification is given commercial batch size to be kept same as per the pilot batch size and the applicant provides the commitment that if there is a scale up of batch size that time the agency will be notified with variation filing or prior approval supplements that is pas and also the supac level 1 and 2 are required to be studied when there is a increase in the batch size so this is regarding the requirement of batch size and number of batches and reason behind those batch sizes and number of batches so in summary we have seen the batch size and number of batches requirements so this will be different for some different uh, products and also will differ slightly from regulatory authority to regulatory authority so for making this video i have studied ema usfd and ics guidelines and the publicly available information i hope you might have cleared your doubts now please do like share and subscribe to pharma learning in depth channel for getting more in depth knowledge thanks for watching the video